it's gonna pour rain for the foreseeable future, we might start building an ark, but I don't want my potatoes to rot in the ground. So we're gonna pull them. We're gonna call this chaos gardening because I didn't uh, have this in mind for this week. And the reason I didn't have this in mind for this week is because I didn't look at the weather forecast, which, you know, is my bad. Ideally, we will stop watering potatoes a week before we harvest them. And I put in my request with uh, the weather service and they didn't respond. They left me on red. So uh, it has been raining and I don't want these to turn to mush. So look how pretty, blue taters. One, two, it's a baby. Two, three, four. Whoa, look at the little tiny. Oh, I dropped it. The biggest one yet. No potato. <laughs> you said puh. Oh, sorry. There's your taters. You a good potato. I think I'm just a little bit gentler. All right, shake all the dirt off. Don't give my dirt away. Potatoes! Uh, oh, look at this one. I like it. Will you stop that camera and hand it to me? Yep. There's a couple of things to think about when you're harvesting your potatoes. One is, I'm going to try really hard not to nick the skin at all. After we harvest them, we are going to lay them somewhere cool, somewhere dry with really good ventilation, and we are going to lay them in a single layer so that they will cure. Now, curing your potatoes simply makes them shelf stable a little bit longer, and you will um, be able to enjoy them further into the season. If they get nicked on their skin while you're harvesting them, then they can go bad quite quickly. So we're taking a lot of care to harvest them carefully and I'm going to make a note of which ones have little nicks and dings in them and then we're going to eat those first. We are going to store them in a cool dry place in a single layer spread out on newspapers and we're going to let that skin get a little bit dry and a little bit tougher so that we can store them for quite a while. If I were to take them immediately into my house and store them in my pantry, holy cow! then we could get a lot of moisture issues. And one soft little potato can actually spread its moisture to every other potato. And you know the saying, one bad apple ruins a bunch. Well, in our house, it is one bad potato. <sighs> Fire it! It is one bad potato that ruins the bunch. Worms! I'm gonna keep going with my handy dandy shovel and then we will meet back here when I'm done. And uh, let's see how much these bad boys weigh at the end. These are big. My hands got a little dirty. Look at all these potatoes that I got. I can hardly even carry them. Um, let me see your hands. What? You cannot come in. You are so dirty. We literally just cleaned. Can you hose me off outside? Uh. Hold on. Let me wash my hands first. I'm, I'm not ready. Okay. by the way we're not going to talk about it but I am going to weigh these potatoes I brought my scale outside so I'm dying to know 23 23 pounds of potatoes 22 so we've got 45 pounds is that right 20 23 right 45 math is not my thing unless it comes to like chicken math I'm really good at that I call it chickenometry Thank you for joining us in our chaos gardening today. 
when you work on a farm, you have to work with the weather instead of just hoping for the perfect conditions. So um, I definitely did not want to wait any longer, even though I think I could have gotten some bigger potatoes in the end. If you're curious how we grew potatoes, we have grown potatoes a couple of times on our channel. So if you want to search it in the search bar, you can see how we did it. I love growing the purple and the reds. They're the ones that we're going to eat the most. And um, growing potatoes is so rewarding because really you plant it, you fertilize it, water it, and then you kind of forget about it. And there's very little maintenance to be done. So if you are new to gardening and you want something that makes you feel like a winner, I highly suggest you try growing potatoes. That's all for today. Have a wonderful day, but don't leave until you look at how pretty my garden is.